So I am here in Apache Junction, Arizona at one of our newest properties. We've actually had this property for about three, maybe four months. And uh, what happened was uh, when we bought it, I asked the wholesaler, you know, the questions that I usually ask just to make sure that we're gonna be able to make money with it. I asked the six important questions, you know, how's the roof, how's the foundation, how's the HVAC, how's the electrical, how's the plumbing, and how does it smell? So I asked the wholesaler those questions and they got back to me saying everything was good. Well, this wholesaler lied, so frustrating. But anyway, they lied, the roof was bad and the AC was bad. So we came in and we replaced the roof and there were some joists that, I'm sorry, there were some rafters that, uh, hey Kirst, what are those things called up in the roof? That, not joists, not rafters? Trusses. Trusses, okay. So there were some trusses that were bad and so we had to replace those. Anyway, so we replaced those and then the city comes and they shut us down because we didn't have permits to replace them which is frustrating because we didn't intend to replace the roof in the first place. So then we had to stop everything for two months, had to continue to pay hard money. So that was all frustrating. And uh, long story short, don't trust this wholesaler, bad person. Anyway, let's go and take a look at it and kind of see where we're at. All right, so this is the kitchen area. So that's all open now. We're gonna go ahead and put uh, the sink over there. Then we'll have some countertops right here. Then we'll have the fridge right here. We'll have the stove and microwave right there and then more countertops. So it's gonna be like a galley kitchen. It'll just be like a larger galley kitchen. Anyway, this house is actually a, a pretty good size. I think it's uh, between 14 and 1600 square feet. So this is the living room, family room. Look at that girl. Oh my goodness. She came with me. I'm gonna take her home afterwards. So this right here is going to be the dining room area. And then if we go down the hallway, we have the First bedroom right here, not very big, but it's there. We have the hall bathroom right here. And then we have the second bedroom right here, which is actually a really good size. Now, we used to have a door right there that went into a bathroom, but we eliminated that door because we wanted this not to be the master bedroom. So we eliminated the door and then we had a door right here which opened up into this big room. Now this room didn't have a closet, so we created this closet. Now, you remember that big family room area? Well, there was a door that went into that family room area right here. We eliminated that door so we could put this big closet in here. And then we opened up this wall right here to put this door. So now we have the vanity right there. We have the bathtub and then we have the toilet right here. So this is one kind of odd thing about this, you know, floor plan is we have the toilet and in order to get to the laundry room and the water heater area, you have to actually just walk in between the tub and the toilet. And then you have the laundry room area and the water heater right there. So we could have moved the toilet around, but that would have been way costly for the benefit that we would have gotten. So we decided to just kind of leave it as is. So. With all of the extra costs of putting in the roof and a new AC unit and everything like that, what I think is, you know, we bought it at about 240,000. The rehab was supposed to be about 40,000. It's gonna end up being more like 60,000. Again, uh, maybe even 65, maybe 70 because we had to put on the new roof and the HVAC. And so um, I think with uh, everything finished, uh, the value of the home is probably going to come in at uh, about 375000 So it's a good size lot. It has kind of a storage area in the back. Um, it's corner lot. It has this big area right here where you can park an RV just like our neighbor does. And so that's pretty cool about it. Um, anyway, that's this house. And uh, I'm doing it with a partner. He came in. Um, and has paid for a lot of the rehab and the down payment. And uh, we're looking to make probably about 40 to 50,000 on this flip. So I'll let you know how it goes.